double digits in some states and jumping more than 60 percent in Tennessee. And Gary says it's going to get worse and we'll all have to pay even if you have a private plan. No one's safe, Gary? No one. Private plans are going to end up matching the price hikes that the government has forced up. When you have young people that don't need insurance not buying it to subsidize the chronically ill, that's where trouble begins. It's government forcing the issue, and that's where prices get out of whack. And just remember, we've been Gruberized here. John Gruber, who is one of the architects, <laughs> came out and said that the transparency, that we don't know what the heck we're doing, and we're a bunch of stupid idiots, and guess what? Yes, we are, because we're paying for all this. Well, Pat Riley, uh, he patented uh, three Pete, and he always gets paid on it. Go out there and get Gruberizing, because you own that, my man. <laughs> Scott, what do you think? <laughs> Well, right outside my door here in Illinois, Charles, it's even worse. I mean, we have one of the local exchanges, the local co-ops that was created by the exchange just go bankrupt. Uh, we were actually on that plan. My family was. We got kicked off it uh, just about a month ago. We've lost our plan every year since we've been part of the ACA. Our premiums have gone up. We've lost access to doctors. As Gary put out, it's only going to get worse because now some of the big carriers are losing money on the exchanges. They're pulling out. They're hurting. They don't want any part of it. Yeah, Morgan, I mean, I'm, uh, to his point, my company, we same thing we had to get we got kicked out right away and it's been it's been an, an amazing struggle but for for regular folks out there who've already lost their doctors how the heck can they keep up double digits even 60 percent tennessee you can and, and it, listen if donald trump was smart and had some message discipline in october this could be actually a good month for him politically unfortunately it's bad for everyone who's experiencing this but here's an opportunity to point out the failures once again of big government why are the ins major insurers walking away because this is private business if you don't make money and you're losing tons of money you're going to walk away from the deal which is what they're doing and it's hurting all of us well the big boys let's face it they wrote this in the first couple of years, they built in a, a, a mechanism so that if they lost money and the government paid for it, that goes away next month. So Aetna's out and the rest of these right. guys, Charlie. And, and one of the key problems was that there was never true competition anyway. You know, listen, this is, if, if, I don't think anybody really understands what, what is here right now. Uh, this is a Rube, it was a, always a Rube Goldberg sort of contraption that they developed. It wasn't quite socialized medicine. It was more like socialized health insurance. Uh, something that's already really socialized and made even more, <laughs> even worse when it really came down to it. And the bottom line is that when you force everybody to get insurance, you know, there's going to be cost overruns. And it's particularly in this really inefficient market where pe doctors right. get sued all the time, where there's cost overruns. And, uh, you know, so the bottom line is the, the premium is going to keep going up, and most average people will get screwed on this. Right, and when you force money. everyone but the young right. folks who, who won't get sick and won't use it, refuse to play play the game, Julie. That's been one of the problems. But there are a lot, it's riddled with a lot of problems. It is, and it needs a fix, and Charlie's head's really going to explode right now, but that's this wasn't really health insurance. This wasn't really health care reform. This was health insurance reform. That's what I said. And when, but right, but when you don't, if you cut out the middleman, get rid of health insurance companies. Right. Make a public right, option the way all of us wanted in the first. Some of us Who's wanted in the us? first. <laughs> some of us. Those of us with the brain wanted in the first place. That's what happened. I do. I'm not, I'm sorry, yeah. Gary, but I want to give my thanks to Morgan, <laughs> Julie, and Charlie. Up next, the stocks. So